My name is Marianne. Um, I was born and brought up in Glasgow. Um, I studied at Glasgow University and worked there for several years. And then worked in the Scottish Borders and laterally down in Devon. I'm working in a mother and child health project in eastern Balochistan in Pakistan. In terms of the actual problems for, that are coming through the door, they're extremely different from the ones that we see in the UK. Um, people have a lot more babies here. Um, a lot of babies in the UK is, is maybe four children. Um, here we had a lady who was on her 20th pregnancy, 14th child. Um, and because of that, they have very fast, dramatic labours. We had a lady deliver in a rickshaw, one at the hospital entrance and um, one in the clinic in the same day. Um, and a lot of these women try to leave about 20 minutes after they've delivered and we're trying to keep them for a minimum of six hours, possibly 12 if we can. And that's quite difficult because it's changing a, a, a very sort of ingrained mindset. These people want to go home, they want to look after their children and, and they actually want to go back to work as well, which is very difficult. And I think it's important to remember that we're not here to try and bully people into thinking differently. We're here to try and provide health care and to improve their service and we do that in any way we possibly can and I think that that keeps me from from getting too upset about it. So yeah it's enormous privilege to be here doing this and um, to be working with these people. You're placed in a, a position of responsibility and, and you're involved in people's lives in a, in, a, in a very sort of a very close way um, and so I think for anybody considering doing it, I think if you're brave enough or, or, or stupid enough, then I think it's worth it. Um, there are days that you sit and think, what the heck am I doing? This is, this is a dreadful idea. I'm, I'm not up to this. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I, I just want to go home. And there's other days where it's, it's so wonderful it overwhelms you. And I, I think those days outdo the other ones. Um, my mother is very stoical about the whole thing. It's not the first time I've wandered off and done something adventurous. We're all fairly independent. We're three girls and I think my folks are, um, are resigned to the fact that I'm going to do something a bit hair-raising <laughs> every once in a while. On the whole, they're really, they're really proud. They, they, you know, it, it means a lot to them that I'm here and uh, I think they can sort of put aside their fears and, 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 and let me go on and do it. But my mother's parting words to me were, please don't do anything stupid. And I, I don't know why she said that. <laughs> I think that the main thing about being here in this area is that we have to be careful about security and, and we can't really go outside. I mean, these walls of this compound are, are my home and I, if I have the day off, I, I can't leave here. And um, sometimes I, I really would just like to go swimming or do, do something other than, other than skipping in the yard. <laughs> I miss... I, I miss a lot of food from home as well, um, the diet's a bit more restricted. We have a wonderful chef who tries very, very hard and I think he's, he's mastered lasagna and pizza, although you do find bits of raw cabbage in it, which can be a bit <laughs> unusual. Um, I've never really been much of a fan of Iron Brew, but I really could go a can of Iron Brew, I suppose. Um, Scots are not built for heat, let's face it, so um, the fact that I have to be covered up is probably not a bad thing. Um, I suspect I would be quite burned if I was allowed to go around in shorts and t-shirt. Uh, the heat's quite, it, it can be quite debilitating. Um, I missed the worst part of it. It had got up to about 54 degrees in the summer, but now it's quite pleasant. At night time you can sleep without the fan on and, and actually just in the month I've been here it's cooled down a lot so it's made a big difference. The, the people of um, Eastern Balochistan think it's, it's freezing right now. I think it's like a, a really good Glasgow summer to be honest. <laughs>